What is up you guys, Orlando here with Leisure Record Studio, another tutorial for you guys. Another one. And today we're gonna use Cubase to unmask frequencies using only the stock options within Cubase. Let's do it. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. Do it! So here I have a main sample and a pad melody that I want to get unmasking basically done uh, for those two things. And the easiest way to do that is within the channel um, itself from each channel. So once you hit that E here, um, so you can edit the channel settings, you're going to get an equalizer here. And there's a couple options here that you can select on the equalizer itself. You can select the main sample, which is, you know, the actual track that you will be working on. And you can select another track. In this case, I'm going to select the pad melody. Uh, let's take a listen to that. And as you can see, the two of them are playing at the same time. The orange one is uh, the pan melody and the main sample is the blue one. I already did a few cuts here, did a low cut, about 30 hertz. I took away 420 and boosted a little bit at 2.04K uh, and those frequencies are based on what the pan melody is doing as well. On the main sample, I'm taking down 420 because that's kind of the area where the main melody of the pad is actually playing in the same manner um, at 2.04K. You hear that melody there uh, from the main sample. That melody, I'm boosting it up. And also if you click here on the pad melody, you can select then that EQ and it's gonna do the same in reverse. So around those 2.04 um, kilohertz, I'm gonna do a cut there um, on the pan melody. So I'm doing a boost on the main sample and a cut on the pan melody, and that's gonna clear out a little bit the frequencies on that area as well. Checking one with another uh, so it can create more clarity at the time of the mix. is super, super subtle, but at the same time, create a, a more balanced EQ curves within the channel. So they stay away from each other and uh, stop colliding frequencies actually, and creating more clarity within the mix. That's a really quick tip that I wanted to show you today. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below if it helps you. And until next one, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you on the next one.